Previously, I used this code to um, show how to create 3D plots using surf, curve, and contour, or mesh and contour. Now I'm going to go one step further and make this into an animation. To do that, I need to create a T for time, lin space from 0 to 1, let's say 20. And now I need to make sure that Z is defined as zeros, length X, length Y, and length T. So I have a three-dimensional array for Z. And I want to use this term still, but what I want to do is to put it in a for loop. So for C and T is equal to one to length T and end it in here. And a very simple equation for that, multiply that by, multiply that by T, C and T. So at any given time, it will plot or it will change. But what I need to do also is to make sure that every X and every Y and C and T is changing. So before going any forward, any further, let me comment these parts out and see what I have. I have a Z is 100, 200, and 20. So if I wanted to use this line, it wouldn't basically just work like that. I need to determine which point of time I want to create my, or I want to plot the Z. So let's say the 10th one. Print this, the 10th one is like that. And if I had the first one, it's a flat surface. And it will go from minus one to plus one. So let's say the Z limb is from minus one to plus one all the time. And if I put this in a for loop, for um, C and T is equal to one to length T and, and put that in, in, a, in a tab. If I do end and instead of one, I have C and T here and then say pause for a tenth of a second. And here I want to say hold off. Let's see what happens. So some numbers, the, the, as you see, the plot actually changed, but the color map was um, not was not consistent, and that's something I want to change. And in order to change the limits of my color map, what I want to do is to say C axis and give values from minus one to plus one. So that means the limits of the, uh, the color map. So if I do this again, see that the values of the color map are consistent between minus one and plus one. Now I want to make this into a, an animation, actually an AVI file, but how do I do that? First of all, I wanna remove this pause or comment it out and make, um, if I want to create a, a three, se three second animation, I'm going to divide that into 600. And something else I want to do here is I want to say title and num to SDR. I want to send TCNT to that and give time is equal to put a 4.3 F second and the title so the title changes with time and here I want to create an OBJ is equal to video writer I have to give a name to that animation dot AVI OBJ dot 
quality is equal to 100. And I don't know why I put that and obj dot, I think it's frame rate. There's nothing right. Frame rate is equal to 20. I'm going to have 20 frames per second and I have 60 frames because I have that. So it's going to um, actually work there. So after each loop, I want to do this. I want to say um, frame is equal to get frame and that's GCF. I want to get GCF and write video, which is a command that writes the video, and OBJ, which is an object I created earlier, and put the frame in. And after that, I need to put some lines in here. I need to close the object, the video object. So if I run this, and if I didn't make a mistake anywhere, it should work. So it says that OBJ must be defined before writing the video and I have OBJ defined before writing the video but something is probably missing OBJ is quality oh I, I didn't open OBJ that's that's the problem open OBJ and now it should actually work so as you can see it's going from zero all the way to one and at each point MATLAB is collecting this frame and saving it in uh, the animation file if I close this and come to my current folder folder so the animation ABI is created if I open outside MATLAB this is the animation that is created by MATLAB and I can use it in my presentations to show off if I need to. So this is one way of creating animations. You can save the animations in, uh, in AVI files. It's basically you have data over time and also taught how to, how to create and manipulate a 3D array.